So in Alabama, it's not uncommon to hear people talking in whispered or angry tones about the machine. But what is the machine? So basically, the machine is a secret society at the University of Alabama with a real cool name that controls the votes of certain sororities and fraternities. It started back in the early 1900s on campus as a chapter of Theta Nu Epsilon, a secret student group, but it's better known as the machine, a nickname bestowed by student journalists. It works like this. Each Greek house that belongs to the machine has a couple of machine representatives whose identities are kept secret. Those representatives regularly meet in secret locations and presumably talk about Game of Thrones or how much they hate Tennessee for about 15 minutes before deciding who to vote for in each of the student government elections. Once they decide, they go back to their Greek houses and basically tell everyone in the fraternity or sorority to vote for that candidate. So it's basically a voting block of certain Greek houses. And that on its face isn't really that big of a deal. Voting blocks exist and lots of colleges have Greek councils that tend to back certain student government candidates over others. But where the machine differs is some of the things they've been accused of doing to secure those candidates a victory. They've been accused of harassment, burglary, wiretapping, arson, and even assault to secure elections, doing it all from the shadows. They've even been accused of voter fraud in, like, real elections, not just college elections. And back when I said the machine tells everyone in the sororities or fraternities who to vote for, what I should have said was coerces everyone into voting for who they want. They do it by tempting them with free drinks, demanding they turn over student IDs or social security numbers, physically dragging some people to the polls, or as some have claimed, just straight up voting for them. But the last University of Alabama student government president ran on a platform of trying to get discounted Uber rides for UA students. The one before him wanted students to get cheaper soda at football games. So it's understandable to think, isn't that a crazy elaborate conspiracy to attain what is essentially not that much power? And you'd be right. It's the equivalent of an entire small town forming a secret cult with the end goal of getting Jeff an assistant manager job at Domino's. But picking college level politicians is just the start for many members of the machine. As I said, the organization goes all the way back to the early 1900s. And over the century, members of the machine have managed to wiggle their way into positions of power all over the state. So being a member of the machine can mean connections to powerful folks who also got their start in this weird Hogwarts of evil politics. Which is why the machine has been referred to by some as the most powerful fraternity in America. Now I just touched on some of the heavier accusations against the machine, but if you want to hear more, you can check out Amy Yerkinen's podcast Greek Gods on iTunes and Google Play and wherever other places podcasts are. You can also download it at al.com slash reckon. And for Reckon, I'm Jonathan Soboleski. If you like these videos and like what we're doing with Reckon, you can help us out by following us on ReckonByAL.com on Facebook and Twitter. And for even more news, you can sign up for our newsletter at AL.com slash Reckon. Thanks for watching.